Cody, all the other small creators. I get it, I get it. The daily vlog, I'm calling it a dilemma. Quantity versus quality. I think we all, all of us smaller creators, big creators, if you're doing it daily, it's hard to figure out what is the right balance. Let me try and explain how I approach this topic after 900 vlogs in a row. All right, come on, follow me. Now from what I understand, Cody and all the other creators out there is that you're struggling with that balance of the quality versus the daily. Every single day, you are aspiring to create content like, you know, buttery film like McKinnon. McKinnon is nuts. Now he's shooting with a 1DX, now that's insane. But it's like we are trying to create that butter when there's just not enough time in the day. I don't know if that's the right way to look at this. Now, Cody, you may not even know this, but your name and your channel actually came up in a discussion yesterday, September 25th, on Daryl Eve's channel. He was talking about how he aspires really to follow your lead when it comes to building a community on YouTube. And you've done that through the hashtag no small creator and he's like looking to you for some guidance and it's it was really really neat to see he did a live stream yesterday and he brought up your name brought up your channel now I bring up Daryl's channel because yes I would love love to produce vlogs and content for you full-time but what does that mean it means I need to have a strategy. It means I need to pay the bills. We all have bills to pay. It's incredible what it costs to live in Denver, Colorado. And so I was looking around on YouTube and Daryl's channel popped up, Roberto Blake, another guy, Sean from Video Influencers and Think Media, um, a lady, her name is Sunny L. I'm just gonna say L for her last name because I can't pronounce it. Anyways, I was looking around trying to find a little bit of guidance and a little bit of help for my channel. However, everyone out there, all the creators, let's not forget why we hit publish for the first time on that first video. Remember that feeling of hitting publish? It was amazing. Let's not forget why we started, right? And I get it, I get it. We all have bills to pay, the mortgage, the grocery bill. Uh, some, some of us have student loans or maybe even diapers to buy. It's like, there's bills to pay, folks. All that to say to Cody and the no other no small hold on we're good we're clear all that to say to Cody and the other no small creators is that I think quantity and quality is a good topic to discern but what about looking at it in a little different light of quantity and authenticity why do I bring that up because this day and age in 2018 video production Equipment has come so far in the last five years, ten years especially, and video editing software has come so far that it's really, quote unquote, easy to produce a high quality vlog every single day. I'm putting that in quotes. Now, I, I get it. It's not easy, but I'm, ex I'm making a point to say that I think authenticity is actually more important than quality. Why, after all, one second. After all, it's called YouTube. I want to get to know you, Cody. I gotta move. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, it's too many trains. After all, it's called YouTube. I want to get to know you, Cody, and all the other no small creators, your highs and your lows. Yes, of your daily living. Now, can I watch every single day? No, nobody has enough time to watch every single day. But I want to get to know you, and that is what I'm talking about when it comes to authenticity and over quality. Does that make sense? And lastly, to possibly, possibly prove my point about quality or authenticity, I think we can all remember the moment that we found Casey's first vlogs and they just blew us all away and of course the quality was incredible uh, but I'm gonna make the argument and I want to hear down in the comments below what you think about this I personally think his authenticity trumped his quality so his filming his editing his music selection like obviously both incredible both incredible 
but I think his authenticity with us for so long, for whatever, however long he did the daily, like it blew all of us away. And I don't watch Casey anymore. I don't really care to learn about his, you know, his opinion on the new Apple Watch or the new One Wheel or whatever he's reviewing these days. Like I preferred his content when it was him and Candace and their family and them just like living life together and trying to figure out this world together and yes, being authentic together. And so Cody, I don't know if you'll actually end up watching this. I hope you do and I hope other no small creators do. But like, I just think quality and quantity is a fine way to look at the topic, but what about authenticity and quantity? And can you do both? I think you can. I know you can. I know all of you can. So let's strive to continue to be us, to be you on YouTube. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about, in my humble opinion. All right, speaking of authenticity, I gotta get home and start painting that house. No more delay, no more delay. Momentum, momentum. You want some authenticity? I've been working on this house, painting it for two years. Oh, I, enough is enough. Let's use the momentum, folks. If you've been watching the last couple days on the vlog, let's use the momentum. I'm trying to use the momentum. Oh, not proud of that fact. See, beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.